<laughs> it makes sense I should hit that yeah, record so button. Kids like to some math, so you have a parabola, and in okay. physics, well, eh. in physics, if well, can can you move back to that actually? To that. Uh, oh, we'll have screen. to play the game again. So let's learn physics, kids. Even though this is not meant for kids. Oh, I know. Or well, wait, we are copper compliant, are we? <laughs> no, it's meant forever. I mean, so, not children. What we have people. here, we're going to learn some physics. So this is a parabola. And you, you have math functions for that, but we're really interested in how physics creates a parabola. It does it through two uh, things. First, when you shoot an arrow, you're going to give it a... Um, you're going to give it an impulse, a force that pushes it towards uh, this direction. And then gravity is going to push it into a parabola. So what we're trying to do here now is we're trying to make the arrow go faster while retaining the parabola, while, while retaining this, uh, I think it's a parabola, while, while this retaining the same curvature of the path. So in order to do that, if we double the speed, with which we are firing the arrow. We also have to double the gravity to compensate so that the curvature of the parabola remains the same. So yeah, that ends the, uh, the, the math lesson, I guess. Yay, so, without um, showing you the have, code. We still so. haven't uh, done, we still haven't actually, we still haven't actually um, doubled the gravity. Um, you haven't doubled the speed. So if you want it nope. to go two times faster, then go double the speed. I got it. I got it. And so let's also let's pretend I heard the... everything you said. So, so double, double the speed. speed. So speed is three. Got let's it. Make it six. Hundred. No, no oh, that's damage. That was damage. So, but because <laughs> I like six. that parabola, we're gonna go back into the arrow and double the gravity again. So I want. Okay. So go to four. Yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly. So we are modifying okay. this then... arrow here, and then we are modifying the gravity scale. So now the scale is four. So let's see what happens. Let's try playing the. Oh, okay. Maybe four. Oh, yeah. That's that's, that's not too bad. So. That's, kind that's of good. Like no, because look, now there's more control on the arrow. So like I could shoot something close up or I could shoot something yeah. farther away off screen. And I let's see, let's go straight, see what the straight shot is now. Power shot. Well, it's still It's gonna hurt it's gonna hit a foot. Can I quick arrow that? <laughs> you know, I realize we didn't we didn't I'm not I don't want to mess with it. I'll just do like contact damage. You could actually have damage based on force. I'm like, I do not want to yeah. do that, though. I realize that it might well, get too complicated. Well, it's actually it shouldn't be that hard. So the two of us, we can do it. I guess you could compare the variable of like when the arrow is released and no, then when it makes no, contact actually, with whatever. Actually, the contact signal will give you the linear velocity of the uh, hitting object. It will give you the object. So you can just check its linear velocity, and that tells you how fast it was traveling when it hit you. So. It's a supported thing. So that's it's like, so my thing is that as far as like a, a a realistic arrow game, this is great. But then what happens if I instead of running? Oh, it's so beautiful. Gosh, I love that arch. But instead of doing an arch, what if I wanted to straight shoot it? Right now, straight shots are not really possible. Well, you have to disable the. You have to either make a really strong arrow pull, so you need to increase the strength or speed. You know, if you double the speed. To nine, or we could create an exception with an if based on the press, right? I wouldn't do or it that. Could actually, no. So what I would do is I would okay, just okay. That could break it. So I mean, you need to double the speed if you wanted to go, or you disable the physics. But I mean, the gravity. That's another way. You know, you push the gravity scale to zero, and then gravity isn't making a parabola; it's just making. A hey, you want to hear something crazy? You know how we could do that? We could do it with the animation player. <laughs> maybe, maybe, yeah, we probably could. We could do it with the animation yeah. player. 
that would be a really funny way to do it. But yeah, we well, but it would be funny, but you, it could work, it right? Way. And then it just cues off an animation, and then you can create. Well, yes, but then physics wouldn't work, you know, when you hit when animation player. No, 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 no. Then you just stop the animation, right? Oh, I see what you're saying. The physics won't work on, on contact. Yeah, with you could stop the animation when it detects when when the area detects something, but the rigid body wouldn't work. Uh, what about what about is be so cheeky can i is there maybe increasing is there a way so we so now i know there's a condition we could have we could have a condition for the oh yeah keep, keep, keep going, keep going. no no if we, if we could have a condition where if arrow press forward or back right these two var variables because like this one's not bad like if it shoots down that's fine like that's pr pretty awesome Right, but if it's like here, we could have it where we could change the variables potentially. But I guess that'd be weird because I guess you'd have to add to the constants. Yeah. See so you know what I'm saying? Like, so, is there I mean, a way the to easier what, way would, to would do be this more force or make the easier way to do it? Yeah, either add more force if you might make it shoot, you know, or or just add like five degrees above. Make it shoot like. Hey, wait, wait! Yeah. I just saw a bug. Oh, that's true. Wait, wait, hold on! I just found a bug, though. Do you see this? No, 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 no. Like when I, I don't release the arrow, and then like look at the animation, it doesn't stop. No. If I can figure that out really quick. So like, watch, you see, like the animation is still playing. I guess it'd be hard. It's hard to see, but see the bow. It's like it keeps playing it over and over again. The bow, bow being pulled. I wonder if. I think that's, that's it, and I'm going to have to call it. But I wonder if there's a way to... I know there is. I just don't know how to do it. Like, if the... Not released. This is pressed. See, this is pressed. And Can we get it to be, like... That's 